My name is Martin Jack, 24 years old. We are right now in Abbott House, you know, a place where I grew up. Basically, this is a three-person's room. So the bunk beds was right here. I can't believe I slept here. It was kind of hard, you know, getting ready. Get to, we had to take a shower with everybody. There's just really, really no privacy. This was the first place I went to, you know, from me being in a home where it was violence and drugs, just a lot of horrifying things to see and watch. There's a fire escape over here. That room is where me and my brother used to get like beat and stuff like that. So we used to get beat and locked in there. Growing up out here at Red Hook Housing in Brooklyn, it's kind of like a struggle for me, you know. I grew up on the second floor. All these windows right here, that's part of my apartment right there. So this is my building where my mother and my six brothers and sisters live. I was taken away because um, it was 19, what, 19 counts of neglect where it was um, stuff like you know, it was prostitution through a house, uh, it was drugs. My mother and father was like very, like not responsible as um, young parents. And it led to me being placed in Children's Village due to the fact that my brothers, my older siblings were getting abused. Most kids, foster care seems so far away. Like, you know, you won't be in foster care, but now it's me. How do a kid now in this situation find someone who cares when they went through so many adults who didn't care? I basically ended up in Children's Village at six. I was just a little boy, very shy, very nervous. Feelings of loneliness, sadness, unhappiness, a sense of remorse, regret, feeling like we have nobody to lean on. First two days, the night was horrifying. I looked outside my um, window and I thought it was just a bad dream. Then the room looked different. Then I see 11 other kids. Did this really just happen? There's no pairs really for you to say, hey, how do you do this? Everyone is doing something different. In school, it was hard because how do I study with 13 kids in a house? What actually helped me to change my life was ambition to succeed. I found out about New Yorkers for Children last year from a social worker that, that was in my cottage. My first gala with New Yorkers for Children, I heard the Spirit Award winners. And that day I said to myself, for now on, I'm gonna take this thing so serious. And I want to do, I'm gonna do my best, not even my best, I'm going to do the best and helping every kid and try to help kids in foster care. New Yorkers for Children, they sent me a package for school when I first started my first semester, and they sent me a laptop. They sent me a book bag or a different type of supplies. You gotta rely on scholarships and loans and financial aid. New Yorkers for Children reached out to me and I opened up all the stuff, the gift cards, the back to school stuff, everything. And it was amazing. And emotionally, it did even more. You know, I think with support, you could do stuff that's not typical. You know, I didn't have the money at the time to get none of that stuff. And I felt, I felt loved. I felt happy, you know, somebody was out there caring for people like kids that are in care, forced to care, going back to school or going back into the community. I work for Abbott House, which is the agency where I was when I first came here as a kid. Every day I go into work, it's a reminder of keep going. Go harder. When you see a kid get discharged, and he leaves with the skills and stuff that you taught him, or his emotional building, or his goals, it is so rewarding. I didn't think I would be where I'm at right now, three years ago, be living on my own, going to school. It's a great thing. Best thing that New Yorkers for Children does for kids is showing them a different world. You never know what gift a kid has. A kid, you might have an engineer. It's guys like you that, that's motivated me to keep me going in life. Just know that you guys, you guys are special. We have gifts. Use your talents that you have and don't be afraid to succeed. Anybody can do it. Anybody can make a difference in their life.